Okay, in this video we're going to talk about installing the MySQL 5 server using Mac ports. First thing you have to do is install Mac ports. So you Google on Mac ports and you click on the installing Mac ports thing. And then you uh, click on the appropriate link. Here I'm pulling down the DMG or the disk image for Mac ports for uh, 10.6. And now double click on that guy and we have an installer package. We fire up the installer package, say continue, and now we get to click through things. The first thing you get is a screen with a whole bunch of instructions. It's probably a good idea to copy those, do a copy and paste someplace so you can read them at your leisure. Okay. And this is all pretty straightforward. Here you put in your administrative password or the user ID and, and password of an administrator. MacPorts is all uh, installed in the root directory of the main system. I cut out some stuff because it got pretty boring waiting for it to finish installing. Now we want to unmount the MacPorts uh, disk image. And we'll do that by bringing up a, uh, a finder window with a command N and then ejecting the disk and then we'll close the finder window. Now we need a, uh, a terminal. This is done in the utilities part of applications. If you do a command shift U you'll get uh, uh, in the finder you'll get all of the utilities. What I'm doing now is searching for uh, MySQL. You type uh, port to search, and then I'm piping that to less, which is a version of uh, Pager, which is a lot nicer than more. This is the guy we want after we scroll through and look at everything. So now we're going to do an install. You have to use the sudo command in order to get uh, root privileges in order to install any MacPorts package. And again, it asks for you for your administrator password. MacPorts is now uh, getting all of the prerequisites because uh, MySQL 5 requires lots of prerequisites. It pulls all of these down as source packages and then builds them, which is why you have to have Xcode installed prior to running MacPorts. Uh, you'll see here that we have built uh, and installed MySQL, but the difficulty here is that all we have is the client. We're going to need the server in order to uh, host a database, so we grab this command that they tell us about and type it in again with preceded by an sudo so we can run our root privileges to pull down the server. That's now happening. And this runs pretty quickly. Then you also get a page of instructions here on how to initialize the MySQL database, how to start it up, um, and some other neat things. You should definitely do a copy and paste of this, put it someplace nice using text edit so that you can refer to it later. And that's about all there is to, to uh, all there is to it to installing a MySQL server on OS X using Mac ports. Believe me, it's a lot easier than building it from scratch uh, from the source, which is something I've also done. Thank you. Enjoy.